press conference of 2012. Could I ask everyone to turn their mobiles off, please, and turn their tweeters off and everything else? Um, so we can get up. I, personally, I, I think boxing is going through a very strange um, time at the moment. Um, a lot of fighters don't want to fight each other. A lot of trainers and managers are happy to try and build fighters' records on nobodies. So I'm pleased to say that I'm giving the public a real fight. Two guys here who are willing to fight anybody. Um, these two guys have got a hell of a lot to lose in this fight. John, obviously, is, as I've always said, is one of the most unluckiest fighters I've known in the history of British boxing. This man definitely beat Tyson Fury in the first time. Um, you know, and if people say, how did I, did I ever suffer um, with Lennox Lewis? I suffered more that night when he lost because I ended up having a heart attack. So, thank you, Mr. Terry O'Connor. But, you know, <laughs> but he's here again and he's going again and he knows it's his last chance. David is the new kid on the block in the heavyweight division. And he knows if he loses, everyone's going to say, well, he couldn't fight. So, it's a real fight. This is a fight that public really want to see. It's a fight that we're giving to the public. It's a fight that Sky are going to be showing to the British fans. So it's a, to me, it's the start of a new era in boxing. And I think all the other managers and promoters have to follow this. There's no good just getting your fight to fight for a world title, which we've seen a lot of lately. British fight has been sacrificed just so people can see themselves on television and have their picture in the paper. When one of my guys goes to fight for a world title, I want him to go there to win the world title and come back, right? You know, and I know if, if one of these two guys get it, or one of these other young guys on the table, I'll introduce you to them in mean, all, all young heavyweights and one young cruiserweight. When they go in for a world title, they're gonna be prepared, ready, and they're gonna win it, and they're gonna dominate the division for a long time. Um, that's it, so what I'll do is I'll introduce, now that I've, shot down everyone else in the business because I think there's a lot of frauds in our business these days um, who haven't really learnt the trade proper and it's time that you know the British Boxing Board maybe look at the situation who they give licenses to and which fights they um, they approve these days but that's that's my personal that is my personal opinion by the way um, I'll start at the end let them introduce themselves uh, Danny Price cruiserweight from Scarlet undefeated David Price, heavyweight from Liverpool. John McDonald, obviously, uh, from Liverpool. Neil. Uh, Joseph Rowland, John Schreiner. Uh, Thomas Little from Atford, obviously. Dylan White, South London, Brixton, and Fiat Fiat. And all these guys are on the bill in Liverpool, so you can see this is a real heavyweight show, you know. So the only non heavyweight is my young man here to my right, but I think this guy is going to actually set the cruiserweight division alight. Without upsetting John, who's been very loyal to me and been very good to me, you know, um, I think the two prices are the future of British boxing. But this man's obviously got a lot to say to it and going to put a put a dent in that um, on January the twenty first. Um, and I'll be sitting here if that happens, pushing this man, pushing the old boy actually. So what I'm going to do now is just throw the floor open for questions. David, who gave you the black eye? Yeah, <laughs> the occupational hazard, I've just, just finished my sparring today, that, yeah. that's part of the reason why I'm a little bit lame, which I apologise for, but I didn't realise how difficult it was to get into central London, mm. the motor didn't give me any address or not, I yeah. a message, <laughs> spent 20 minutes ago with the address, so that's just an occupational hazard, I've, I've, I've just finished my sparring anyway, and, yeah. you know, everything's gone well, so... How did, how did the sparring go? I mean, Chisora was speaking yesterday, he was singing your praises, he said you are the most improved heavyweight in the country, and he was surprised how hard you punch. Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, it was just good sparring. I mean, uh, yeah. I, know, I know I needed good sparring because I know this fight's going to be the toughest of my career so far. And, you know, I know John McDermott's a good, strong fighter, so I needed, I needed the quality, and uh, I got it, so I, I deal. Do you feel you have to push your career along a bit more than you have done, say, last year, this year? But that's not my job, is it? That's Frank's job. So, you know, I, but I was unfortunate to get the injury which postponed the original fight. And I think John had agreed himself that 
wir gerade schichten zu den Tod zu so each other, because all we must do is think about each other when we're in the gym and finally we'll get settled next Saturday and you know we're all being well uh, we're, we're there now. You know, aside from a type of freak accident such wood. Nick, I'd like to come in on that. So you know, there's a way of handling the career. You know, you see Tyson Fury fighting regular, but he's actually fighting bums, so he's not learning nothing. And he's not going in the gym and learning. David Price, under his trainer, Frani, has spent a lot of time in the gym, has had very good quality sparring, has been to America, and is actually learning the trade. And I believe on this table, we have experience of producing good heavyweights. We know how it's done. Lennox Lewis was taken along at the same pace. This year, David Price all goes well on January the 21st. Will we'll, you will see win the British title, the Commonwealth title, and be in a position to fight for the European title? But again, as I said, this man on my left could throw a spanner in, and it could be him doing it. So, and he's learned his career the same way. He's had some good fights and tough fights. Anyone can build a record fighting bums, and that's the problem with British boxing at the moment. Sorry, John. Are you going to throw a spanner in the book? Well, I'm aiming mean, first. The idea I've tried, I've looked to, I've trained all of these fights. I've done it every one of my fights. I know it's my last shot. If I want to carry out in boxing and do well, it's my last shot. And I've trained like it's my last shot. I've been give it one way or the other. I'm going to give it all that I have. Does the delay help you, John? Because it does say third time lucky, doesn't it? Is it giving you more time to prepare? It doesn't really bother me. I always fit the first time, and I am fit to fit the third time. So it makes no difference to me, you know. Uh, I've trained on every fight I've ever had, but this time I've just tried, I've tried, I know this is my last chance. I know David's a good fighter. I've always respect what David, let's be honest, you don't win an Olympic medal because you're no good. So I've got to train all of that good, be the best that I can in the gym. Hopefully, please go a bit of luck. I can go and win them Saturday night. How's training been going, Jason? How's training been going? Yeah, very good, I think. Um it well, took time to get to know you fighters. I'm tell you, I'm glad it was uh, cancelled the first and second time. It's, it's given me probably six, seven months now, isn't it? So it's given us a little bit more time to get to know each other and just work on different things. And uh, yeah, everything's been going well. Um, John, how, John, how do you compare David to Tyson Fury? Uh, um, <laughs> as you know, really, yeah. I feel obviously they're both tall, they're both same sort of size, they both fight, fight slimmer because they're, they're so tall. So. I, I think I deal with Tyson Fury okay. The second time I boxed him, as David knows, because I was waiting to spy with David, I got glands and fever about two weeks before. And I spoke to David on the phone because I was waiting to spy to come to Liverpool, but I was so ill, I just couldn't spar at all. And I, I did need to fight, I needed the money, so I had to fight. But I, I mean, they're obviously similar, they're both the same sort of size. So I've, I've trained the same way I did for one I have done the other. I may be having a senior moment here, David, but Liverpool produced so many great fighters. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a British heavyweight champion out of Liverpool. Well, that's true. There, there's never been a, a so British heavyweight champion. you've been the first if you won the British title. That, that's what the aim is, to be the first ever British yeah. heavyweight champion. For it's a, astonishing that when you think of all the fighters Liverpool. It is, yeah. Champions. It is. But um, it's, it's an added incentive for me because, you know, it would be, be a great achievement to be the first from the city. Mm.